what she's having. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Hello YouTube, this is Nam Man. Welcome to my channel. Drama, check of all, master of none. <laughs> I'm doing a thread or tag video today. Uh, 10 movies for from 10 different genres. You know, 10 favorite movies from 10 different genres. I saw it from Best Channel, her channel name Redrum Records. She's from Vinyl Community. It actually started from uh, Davis Horror. Uh, that's uh, David Newton's new channel. I'll provide their links below. They're both from Vinyl Community, but looks like David made a new channel, which is a good idea. I probably should do that. I should probably should have a whole bunch of different channels rather than having one channel with all these you know, different stuff. But uh, I'm lazy. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, I'm going to add two more genre to that. It could be classified as subgenre. Anyway, I'm going to break this down into chapters. In horror genre, I'm going to pick Ring, officially. Uh, unofficially, I'm going to pick Ringu, the movie I haven't even watched. Ringu is a Japanese version of Ring. Both movies are based on this uh actually science fiction novel <laughs> written by ring uh written by koji suzuki it's i think that book was written in 1991 ringu was made on tv series i think 1998 and then 2000 was a ring ring by itself uh didn't impress me that much you know it was silly to me at the first but once I found out the, the science fiction aspect of, of the movie, I got oh, shoot, <laughs> that's pretty scary. <laughs> Just of the science fiction was this. Uh, we are bombarded with the TV signals, radio signals. Our brain is a electrical system. It generates brainwave, and it, if you have a, enough sensor, we could actually receive uh, brain waves, electrical signals. Just like touches, uh, touch sensors, hearing sensors, smell sensors, uh, visual sensors. Maybe our brain can, you know, discern different ele electromagnetic signals. You know, we got these TV, visual signals, 
audio signals, computer digitized signals. Eventually, maybe if we are you know bombarded enough of those, maybe our brains can distinguish patterns. You know. <laughs> so whole idea is this uh, person who has a smallpox or something, some kind of a physical disease. She convert that into uh, mental viruses, physical virus into mental virus. <laughs> and she's spreading that around or whoever that person is spreading that around. So that's the gist of a science fiction and I'm going, holy cow, <laughs> that's a scary thought, you know, if we could, if that could happen to us. And uh, the ring itself, the movie, yeah. I didn't like the fact that it had a, it broke fourth wall. It broke the screen, you know. It, the monster broke through the screen. <laughs> I didn't like that. And when I found out about the backstory of a ring guru and ring, I go, oh shoot. <laughs> I don't want the <laughs> TV screen, computer screen to just, you know, just uh, break my mind, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, I would have to choose Ring for this thread. <laughs> for officially, unofficially, Ring Goo. Don't go watch that movie. I don't want to watch it. <laughs> Animation genre. <laughs> I could think of two, but, uh, I'm going to choose Toy Story. Back in 1995, it changed the animation world. All computer animation, uh, built of Pixar. Got tons and tons of animation movie from it. Even now, when you go back and watch it, it's not dated. So, yeah, I mean, I, Snow White had a breakthrough with the entertainment industry, but Snow White was still just for kids. I know the Toy Story seems like it's, it is just for kids, but it's a tearjerker for adults too, you know? Especially when you see your kids growing up just like the, uh, the hero of the Toy Story growing up from little kid to uh, college-bound student. So yeah. So I will choose Toy Story as my animated series. I mean animated movie. For the drama, easy. The Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> One of the easiest questions for me to answer is, what is your favorite movie? The Shawshank Redemption. <laughs> You know, this was written by, or actually it's based off of a Stephen King's story. The book was awesome too. If someone asked me, oh, what's your favorite Stephen King's story? Shashank Redemption has to be one of the top ones. And if someone asked me, what's your favorite Stephen King's uh, story that turned into a movie? It would have to be The Shashank Redemption by far. Yeah, it's just a great, uh, great, great story. Great human drama. Uh, persistence, patience, some intellect. Horrible villains, which is good for the hero of the story, right? So, yeah, I love this. I love this uh, movie, the book too. So, <laughs> easy. Comedy is so hard just to pick one. But since I love sci-fi, I'm going to pick a sci-fi comedy. Galaxy Quest. <laughs> People say this is the best Star Trek movie. <laughs> one of the best Star Trek movies. I, I love Star Trek movies. And I, I have to agree, this is one of the best Star Trek movies. It's making fun of a Star Trek. And... It stay true to Star Trek movie itself. 
Star Trek TV series, all that. So, and uh, if uh, two genre wants to claim you as their best, I think <laughs> that's a good sign. So, Galaxy Quest for comedy. Uh, maybe I should have picked Ghostbusters. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Sci-fi genre, <laughs> talk about game changer. <laughs> you probably guessed it. Star Wars. No, not Star Wars New Hope or Star Wars Episode 4 or whatever. I watched Star Wars when they first came out. It's, it was called Star Wars. Just like this laser disc. Star Wars. <laughs> I try to watch Star Wars in the original format as possible. That's even that has a little edit in it. George Lucas edit in it. But uh yeah, about that and the laser disc player just so that I could watch the original Star Wars if that was possible. Anyway, yeah. It, this changed the whole sci-fi industry as as well right all the special effects the yeah pixar is a computer graphics but this is all this you know modern special effect derives from these guys and it's a game changer yeah. sci-fi you got a name star wars i'm sorry <laughs> Action, another easy one, Die Hard. <laughs> I could have chosen uh, Mel Gibson's uh, Lethal Weapon or the John Wick series or any of the um, Sylvester Stallone movies or uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, even uh, what's his name, Tom Cruise movies. They all portray special forces, you know, those super soldiers. And it's there's no chance that they will fail. <laughs> you don't worry about that. They will succeed, you know, they just kick ass. <laughs> but Die Hard, when they first came out, they portrayed this regular cop uh, in a very difficult situation. Odds were against them. And overcoming that art as a regular human being, just trained as a cop. Comic book movies. Spider-Man, by Toby, with the one with the Tobey Maguire in it. First one, origin, origin story. I love Spider-Man's origin story, by the way. Uh, before this, there was a Batman, what the, what's his name? Jack Nicholas as a Joker. Uh, and before that was a uh, Superman, t Christopher Reeve Superman series. I, I I didn't feel like that made up to my standard when Star Wars happened. It seems like after Star Wars happened, these guys could just you know hit the special effect, but they didn't. To me, not you know the flying and things and all these uh, uh, human related special effect wasn't there until Spider-Man so and that to me broke the ground on superhero movies and ever since then there was Iron Man and so on so yeah I Spider-Man Western movies. I'm not a big fan of Western movies. I mean, I enjoy them when I watch them, like a 310 to Yuma or High Noon or, you know, things like that. I do watch them, but I don't watch it more than once. Only Western movie that I watch over and over again 
although spaghetti western by Clint Eastwood. Of course, uh, the good, bad, and ugly is just that's classic. Yeah, I could watch that even now, and I have no problem going through all of them, you know. So. <laughs> I don't watch too much of uh, true romance movies like uh, the love story. I guess Romeo and Juliet kind of stories. I like comedy romance, I guess. So I'm gonna choose uh, When Harry Met Sally. <laughs> you gotta watch that one. <laughs> Adventure, another easy one, Raiders of the Lost Ark, yep, <laughs> uh, I love Steven Spielberg's movie, I guess I'm also a big fan of Harrison Ford, um, I didn't like the latest ones, I didn't like the second one that much, third one was okay with the uh, Sean Connery, yeah, first one was that was killer. I could watch that over and over again. Um, one thing that I didn't like was that that movie canceled all the martial art movies. You know, <laughs> but great movie nevertheless. <laughs> Just like uh, horror movies. I'm not much into war movies because of blood and gore, you know, like a full metal jacket or these other war movies that, you know, showing guys' legs being blown up and being beat to pieces. Some action movies that you just punch each other, you shoot guns, but you don't really see blood and stuff. But in war movies, you get to see a lot of that in, you know, very graphic detail. But Saving Private Ryan, by the way, I I made up the this war movie genre because I want to name Saving Private Ryan because that's one of my favorite movie, and I didn't want to go without naming that movie in this thread. <laughs> Musical. <laughs> Those of you who know me, those of you who know that I collect soundtrack albums in vinyl record format. You guys know that I love Greece. <laughs> so you may say, you may think that I'm going to say Greece. But I want to go back a little bit further. When I didn't speak the language and musical was so natural thing for me to watch and enjoy. Right? I enjoy uh, musicals like My Fair Lady, the Singing in the Rain by Gene Kelly, all that dancing. In, even in black and white, I enjoyed it when I first came to the United States. Didn't speak the language, but I still enjoy them. Now, as far as the uh, uh, Wizard of Oz, the Sound of Music, and the uh, Mary Poppins, to me, those were acquired tastes. I had to keep on watching it again and again, and it just became an acquired taste for me. Uh, and uh, some of them, I had to understand the language before I I got to appreciate the movie itself. But like, uh, uh, I'm singing in the rain. That Oh, wow, that's what it feels like to fall in love with the uh, with girl. I mean, it's just, uh, I don't know, that, it, it seemed very natural to me, even compared to uh, Disney movies like uh, Lion King, the Aladdin, all these, uh, you know, mermaid, little mermaids, it's just, those are all animation and everything. These guys are real people, you know, the Americana, you know. I don't, it feels like a, they're not making musical like that anymore. And so I'm going way back and, and I, and I actually 
those are timeless to me. I could still watch those and still enjoy them. So yeah, I'm gonna choose uh, Singing in the Rain by Gene Kelly as a musical. Good stuff. <laughs> If you have reached this far on my video <laughs> and have a YouTube channel, consider yourself tagged. I, <laughs> if you have time, that is. <laughs> I mean, you must have time. You watch my video for this long. <laughs> I just wanted to show you that I really appreciate you, that you're here. Um, would love to see the movies choice you have for different genres 10 of those even bonus ones if you want you have you want or you want you have time for or make up your own bonus genre anyway uh, i appreciate you till next time let me know